Eco Renovating Our Social Models, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 428. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Gene Siebel, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our June 6, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today what I want to talk about is eco-renovating our social models. And I think the best way to talk about that is really describe the social architecture model that is one community, kind of give an overview of that. And there's specifics on our website. If you go to our website, Highest Good Society is the page, uh, and check it out. And But really, the idea of re, uh, eco-renovating our social models is to build an eco-sustainability model that provides more time for the things that people want to do and more things for people to do at that time. And to look at current models and understand that typically current models uh, exist in, are, or are defined by if you want to do something fun, you invite people over to your house. Or if you want to do something interesting, you go out and you do it. You know, you pack up all your stuff, you drive to wherever that is, and you have that experience, whatever that is. One community's model for eco renovating our social models is that if you want to do something interesting, you know, your community is providing that for you, you know, and if you want to do something interesting with people that you love and care about, your friends and your family, they're already a part of your community. And so you just get together and do it because everybody's within walking distance, you know, and this used to be the way that towns and cities and stuff were. I mean, communities were together and they were very tight knit communities. And so maybe it's not really eco renovating our social models so much as returning to a simpler time as far as the aspects of that sorry for the creaking of my chair but the the idea of returning to a time when we knew our neighbors really well and we shared values and we shared common experiences and we had amazing places to live where the things that we wanted to do were just within walking distance but the difference now is that we have the ability to create environments that are far superior to anything that existed, well, not necessarily superior, that take the best of what existed before and add to it the best of what exists now. Access to technology and access to the toys, the jet skis and the motorcycles and the vehicles and the computers and the 3D technology and the 3D printing technology and all of that putting it together with a beautiful nature environment and an environment where, you know, your kids can go out and play outside. And they don't have to worry about, you know, how safe it is, you know, so that you have, you're surrounded by nature and beautiful forest land and wonderful places to visit and, and recreate without having to drive to them, you know, so that if you want to get together and play a game, you know, with friends and family, it's as easy as saying, Hey, let's play a game and let's do it in the game room. And so, one community's idea of eco-renovating our social models is to create shared spaces that are designed to maximize the living experience, the social and recreational experience that's possible with people, and to bring together people with like mind, shared values, friends and family, the people that you want closest to you to create that environment, you know, to create our idea of what an ultimate recreational and social environment could be and live within that. So that everything that we would want to do is within walking distance so that all the toys and gadgets and things that bring, you know, that enhance that experience and bring even more joy to it are available to all people all the time. And if something breaks, you replace it collectively, collaboratively, cooperatively, you know, and you have more of that stuff because you're pooling your resources to have access to it. You know, your tool shed isn't just for you. Your tool shed is for the community, and it contains the community's tools from all the people, everything that everybody wants in one place because I don't need to own a drill if I always have access to a drill. And even better than that, I'd love to have access to a drill press, but they're so expensive, I would never own one of those if it was just for me. You know, and the same thing for all the other tools and toys and bits and bobs that people might like. You know, and so eco-renovating our social models is about putting all that in one place and designing the environment so that everybody, as part of our environment, the social architecture aspect of it, highest good society, as I mentioned when I began, contributes to that. Like we operate, we're designing it to operate on a 40-hour work week where cooperation and collaboration address, 
you know, the, the general maintenance and daily living activities like laundry and preparation of food and things of that nature. So people have way more free time because they're not committing their time to that unless that's their contribution to the community. And also part of that 40 hours is five hours of contribution to social architecture. And that five hours can be anything that people love to do so long as other people want to participate. It could be playing with our kids. It could be, you know, reading books. It could be studying poetry. It could be going for a nature walk. It could be exercise. It could be anything as long as other people want to get together and it's free and open to the whole community. And so through doing this within walking distance and for free, we will provide hundreds and then thousands of hours of activities that are always available for people to participate in, including visitors. And that's eco-renovating our social models. Instead of traveling and calling people up saying, hey, let's meet here. Instead, it's like, oh, we're sitting down, we're eating a dinner in the giant huge hall where all of our amazing five-star restaurant food is prepared for us and readily available. And we're talking about like, hey, tomorrow, let's get together and do this. Let's play a soccer game. Who's in? Who wants to play a soccer game? Let's do a pickup game of soccer. Or let's do game night or let's do movie night. Or, oh, you know, we always have our poetry club on Wednesdays. You're going to be there tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Great. I'm looking forward to it. You know, and now imagine 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 other activities that are always available. So many such that you're actually challenged to decide which ones you want to go to. Where do you want to spend your time? Because there's so many different things to do, you know. And in a lot of cases, the work and aspect of it to keep it all running is so flexible that you can tailor your schedule to that. So it's really eco-renovating our work models as well. Definitely eco-renovating our work models. I should do a, do a topic like that. So... This is our idea. Let's eliminate the commute. Let's eliminate the expense. Let's create more time. And let's create it in a place that's so beautiful that rather than driving two hours to get to that place, we live within that place. And we can design it and develop it to share that with other people rather than saying, hey, this is just ours. Like, let's get together and create a community that is built and founded on the idea that we are open sourcing and free sharing it all so other people can replicate this around the world also. But also designed on an economic model that is ecotourism that invites people to participate so that the more fun that we're having, the more we're enjoying our environment, the more enticing our environment is for people to participate in, the more successful we will be as an organization, the more revenue we'll generate so that we can continue to expand and grow that environment and invite even more people to participate, which in one community's case is to build a core population up to a core population of 2,000 people hosting hundreds of thousands of people annually, sharing what is it we're doing so that everything is open source and free shared so that other people can participate and covering all aspects of a sustainable civilization, food, energy, housing, education, economics, uh, truer stewardship, all of those things in one place so that people can see how it all works together, experience it, take the pieces that they want and replicate those, leave the ones that they don't. But for people that want to replicate the whole model, everything that's shown in the background of this video right now, to create a complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, as big as 2,000 people or as small as you know 20 or 30 people, we're creating the open source plans for that. And the do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, instructions to achieve that goal and making it all modular. So for people that look at that and go, I don't want that. I just like, you know, a sustainable home or I just like to grow my own garden or I just like to run my own education program or whatever it is, all that modular so that they can do that as well. And all designed with the highest good of all in mind so that every person that adopts any piece of what it is that we're doing is part of the solution, making a difference. This is our idea for eco-renovating our social models. So if this is interesting to you, if you'd like to see what we've done in the last week, the specifics of what our all-volunteer team, and we've had over 500 volunteers contribute to the project so far. Uh, if you'd like to see what we've done in the last week, visit our written blog. Check out our website if you'd like details on the social architecture. Like I said, you can click on the link right at the top of our website in the drop down that says, you know, highest good society, and it goes into these details, and there's all kinds of breakout pages, so you could just immerse yourself in that if you're interested, uh, and all the other aspects of our website. Check that out. Visit us on social media. Uh, if you'd like to get involved, visit our helping page. There's ways for everybody to participate uh, if you're interested. And, um, yeah, know that. Until next week. We will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, 
provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.